I have not cleaned my storage in a while. I just been coming and dropping stuff down. So I have balloons that I'm doing this weekend. It's a glow in the dark party. I already got the backdrop. It's just one backdrop, but it's gonna be the glow in the dark balloons way at the bottom here, mix them with black. And I have these two bags here that I have not put away. So I'm going to put these away before I take any new ones out because I'm going to behave myself. And that is still garbage that I still have not thrown out. So I'm going to situate myself because I don't need a part two of my balloon organization video. So, yeah. Your body drive me crazy. Your body need a license fit. Your body are too tight and keen. Anybody who got eyes can see. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. Listen, you've been missing since 2016. Squid tell me one fix. You know that's my sister. When she speak, I listen. She swears you're my missing. I say we think different. I, 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 I see. By your heart, I see. Come, baby, come, come, try me. Who you gonna love if you run by me, love? Ready? Too many twists and turns. I never use these colors, but these are the actual glow in the dark blooms um they are from so Aliyah, get off please get off these are from simpertex um from balloons online and i've had them for a long time so i hope they still sell them i'm sure other places sell them as well but people just don't necessarily order these colors so that's why i um had so many in stock and didn't need to buy any of them so i basically have alia can you please i basically have her again with the scooter i basically have five inch and 11 inch only and then now with the hoverboard Mama. um i basically Mama. have this but it's not making noise it's quiet so I basically have five and 11 inch for both. And these are just all things I need to put back into my toolbox. And these are just actually the five inch that I have that I'm gonna use instead of popping. And then I'm gonna use the orange and the pink 260. So I'm just gonna blow these up and I'm also gonna put black in it as well this is how they look and this is how they will look if you don't put a black light like uv ray um i think it's just i think it's just called a black light <laughs> on my like uv ray so i added in black like hints of black to it just so that it doesn't look too like i don't know it's for a 12 year old but i don't want it to look too too kiddish but still kiddish you know what i mean so now I'm just gonna do the five inch and this one is like a really simple design. So I don't need too much balloons. So it's not that bad. Um, I'm gonna put these together with the orange 260s and then go ahead and do the five inch. I put them together. It's really not a lot because of the way it's like coming through the middle. But um, when I get there, obviously I do have to add like some four inch and stuff so i'm just gonna blow up um uh basically two sets of four per color and just bring those in a bag and i'm not gonna attach them together or on the garland i'll just attach them when i'm actually constructing the whole thing so now i have my four in, my <laughs> sets of four and on my five inch i did not have any pink on 11 inch so I just made clusters of six with the five inch. I'm gonna make about four of them. So I'll just stick those near the black because I'm not gonna use any black five inch besides this. So yeah, I'm gonna put these in a bag. All of this is gonna go in one bag and then I'll have those over there. I do not have a U-Haul trailer today. So I will be utilizing my stepdad's 
truck because I have to bring the backdrop in my truck. So um, <clears throat> it's a really simple, quick setup. So I'm gonna go do that now and yeah, I'll be, well, I'm gonna put it in the bag now and then I have to go to dance practice and then, well, it's for my daughter, not for me. And then um, I'm gonna come back and then get to work. So I'm on the way now to bring the backdrop and the glow in the dark balloons. I only have the backdrop in my truck. The balloons are in the back of my stepdad's truck because he has an enclosed SUV. And to be honest, like a lot of people ask me about like, you know, like transportation and like the cost and everything. Like obviously if you're just starting out, you're not gonna have like a pickup truck all the time or a tow hitch where you can haul. If you have a, like a standard size SUV, mid-size SUV, whatever, you can fit a certain amount of balloons in there. And what I would always suggest is if you can't fit all the balloons um, for your install, at least do the five inch because that's usually like the most like time consuming thing. So I would say at least bring five inch, like if you're not able to like fully transport like the whole entire installation. But like, I just wanna like talk briefly about like the importance of just starting with what you have because you'll freak yourself out to the point where you feel like you need this, you need that, you need this, you need that, and you really don't. You just need to put yourself out there and slowly you'll start to realize like what you can't afford to, you know, bring into your business, what you can't afford to. And it's more so of a process. Like, I know like people like to start businesses and they just like to have everything at once. But when it comes to luxury services and like, service-based businesses i don't feel like that's the same um thing i feel like there's different comfort levels financially depending on where you are in your entrepreneurship journey so i feel like the best thing you could do is just start with what you have and don't feel like because you don't have certain things that other people have that you're not capable of doing those same things or providing the same level of expertise or service to a client I feel like you have to let your pricing match your situation at first and as you grow when you expand and build on your business it's okay to up your prices so you can start to um, afford additional things that make your job easier and make the clients experience even better but to be honest with you, starting out, you're gonna be doing a lot of things at people's houses, at parks. As long as they're giving you the allotted time frame to be able to do majority of your work at the location, that's okay. Like, I feel like everybody just thinks that like, I just had it all together like from the start because of when I'm starting my YouTube journey, but I'm already three years in. So it's more so like, I'm showing you how easy it becomes after the hard work but if I I hate that I can't go back in time and show you guys like so much of what I went through just overall with figuring out this business and because I feel like now I'm to the point where I can just be like okay I'm an expert at this let me show you how to do this this is that but I wish I was like took you guys through the trenches because I feel like it would be even more motivating like I hope these videos are motivating for you guys but I know it would be even more motivating so I'm like damn like all the time when I think about that I didn't record it makes me so upset but well, nonetheless um I just feel like a lot of people put so much emphasis on running their business the same way other people run their businesses and I feel like business overall is not a one track one track record I don't know what I don't know, like I said, I'm Esau. I don't know. So I feel like everybody's is gonna be different. Everybody's experience is gonna be different. And I feel like all you need is that push and that, that thing on your heart of God telling you like this is what you're supposed to do and this is your purpose and this is where you're supposed to be in this season of your life. And that'll be enough to carry, through, carry you through developing and getting 
to that level with your business. I feel like so many people don't understand how valuable their work still can be without having the fancy content and the fancy like infomercial type of vibes with your reels, the fancy website, the fancy photo shoot. Like you don't need those things first. You need the passion, you need the motivation, and you need the purpose and the drive and everything else God will carry you through. And it's like the more you psych yourself out and tell yourself that you need things in order to start, the longer it's gonna take for you to start. And baby, the, the, the time is gonna pass regardless, okay? Whether you do what you said you're gonna do or not, that time is still gonna pass. Those people are still going to, you know, be where they are and you're still gonna be where you are. So it's just, just go through the motions. Go through the motions. Life is a wave, just ride it. Get that surfboard and you know, as you go through life, as your waves continue, your surfboards, surfboards will grow and get more expensive. But you gotta just ride that wave. I'm about to get it. the house, I have to give them my name. Yeah, just ride the wave, like enjoy the journey, enjoy the bumps. I feel like I didn't enjoy the pitfalls and chaos of my business enough in the beginning. And now that I look back at it and like all the memories I have like from that and like the, the relationship I developed with like my siblings when they would help me, like I have memories of like my stepmom who passed, like just memories of like her helping me and just like, funny like fun things that were so stressful in the moment but it's like now I look back at it and it's hilarious I was looking at a picture the other day and I I'll see if I find it in here but I did balloons for one of my sisters and we were like in a strip club and like my stepmom was in the strip club like by like just sitting by the pole while I'm doing the balloons so just like little stupid stuff are just like so blissful now to me like looking back at it so i just feel like everybody just needs to get to a place where they start from somewhere like it doesn't matter where it doesn't matter if you're in the pits of hell just start and i guarantee you you'll slowly see progress and you have to be patient with yourself you're human you're not a machine you know and i feel like like today like made me feel like that because like i didn't have a trailer for this weekend because the trailer situation down here has been a nightmare, but I don't have a trailer for this weekend. Luckily, the job wasn't humongous, so I'm able to, you know, utilize my stuff that's truck is because it enclosed SUV, like I said. But like, this is that's how I like that's how I used to do it. Like, I would do two trips, I would do three trips. Like, I was all over the place, and it's like being grateful for that. Like in that moment is worth something like i feel like it shows god that you're willing to go through and like that was a really nice house so i was looking at it they're like redoing the outside but i feel like it just shows god that you're willing to you know figure it out by any means possible and i feel like god blesses you with certain things when he knows you can trust you with it and i feel like if he can trust you with it in the beginning stages where you're not making that much profit where you're going through hell and making four and five trips going back and forth just to do one installation if he can trust you with that is just showing him like okay god i'm ready for more like i'm ready for you to you know give it to me where i'm you know i'm going through an easier process like i'm ready for that so i just feel like sticking through it and continuing on and pushing forward it's always going to be worth it you just have to be patient with yourself and allow yourself to get there so i'm about to pull up now and get out and do my balloons that was my little car rant um so i'm about to get out and do the balloons it's a really simple install but it's still gonna be cute and i'm getting away from that thing of feeling like only certain big huge installations that people want to see like no y'all want to see everything so i'll show you everything okay so i'm about to pull up and get out and i'll see you guys when i'm sitting down Love the way you twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah. Baby, call me, I too fly, I get burned. Love the way you twist and turn, twist and turn, yeah. They might have driven crazy, they might have driven crazy.